Friday, September 26, the Holocaust Museum. Hitler and the Nazis came to power in Germany. He wanted to create a pure, arid race and kill anyone who was sick or disabled. He he hated the Jews. He he first made it impossible for them to do business and go to school. He then created ghettos where they were forced to live. The millions of were moved to concentration camps. They're horribly mistreated and six million were killed. Other groups like Jehovah's Witnesses and, and the Gypsies were sent to concentration camps too. The Smithsonian of the Natural Air and Space Museum. I learned about the history of flight starring with the Wright brothers and advances in, in air and space travel. I also learned how telescopes worked and based on reflecting light. We saw the lunar module in the Hubble telescope and a research space station. We also saw the huge Titan engines used in the Apollo missions. We also saw many airplanes like the original Spirit of St. Louis. Saturday, September 27th, DC Duck Tours. We toured Washington, D.C. in a small bus that can also go into water. We drove around the city and saw many historic buildings like Union Station, Jefferson Memorial, the Capitol, the White House, and 13 different Smithsonian museums. We learned the Washington Monument is, a, is the tallest building in the city. It is 555 feet tall. We also drove by the Department of Engraving where they print money. We went to, to the Potomac River by the Regan Airport. We got to take turns piloting the boat. In the afternoon, we drove through Maryland, Pennsylvania, and New Jersey on our way to New York. We crossed over the Gustros Bridge from New Jersey to, to Staten Island and the Vezeron Bridge from Staten Island to Brooklyn. Sunday, September 28th. Today we spent the day in New York City. We brought subway met metro passes to use to figure out that the which trains connect to where we want to go. The subway went under the water to Brooklyn to Manhattan. We first went to the Twin Tower Memorial. It was neat to see one of the trees of that survived the Twin Tower falling. All of the names of the victims were engraved in the bronze memorial. The two 30-foot man-made waterfalls were the largest in, in North America. We also saw the Freedom Tower, which is the tallest building in the city. We also saw the United Building and the Empire State Building. We went to the top of the Rockefeller Center. It was so cool that we could see the whole city from 70 stories up in the air. Monday, September 29th. Today we, we visited the world headquarters of Jehovah's Witnesses in Brooklyn, called Bethel. This is where the decisions are made about how to take care of all over 8 million witnesses worldwide. They oversee the preaching work and decide what books and magazines we need. They, they work on our website, gw.org. There is also a department of brothers who teach doctors about options and surgery so they don't have to use blood tr transfusions. Everyone who works in Bethel volunteers are, are in time. They are not paid. They receive everything they need to, to live like housing, food, medical care, in, and even get their hair cut by barbers at Bethel. Tuesday, September 30th. Today we drove into the city and went to Metropolitan Museum of Art. We did the World Powers Tour that showed how history proves the prophecies in the Bible. They are Egypt, Assyria, Babylon, Medo-Persia, Rome, Greece, and Anglo-America. I really liked seeing the Temple of Dendor from Egypt and I saw a real chariot from Greece. After the tour, we walked around Central Park. I really liked it seeing all the trees. Some of the leaves were changing colors. It was very different than California. 
We went to Times Square one more time and had a yummy piece of cheese- New York cheesecake. We drove to Fishkill, upstate New York, that evening. Wednesday, October 1st. Today we visited Patterson, New York, and we toured, toured the Watchtower Educational Center. Many schools are held here to help those who want to preach in other countries and for those who visit and encourage our congregations. The art department is also here. They design all the illustrations in our books and magazines. Some illustrations they print and other they photograph. They design and build their own sites. The auto visual department is also here where they design and shoot and edit all of our videos. They even have their own TV studio now. Our visit was extra special because we got to hear three new songs that are being added to our songbooks that we use at meetings. Thursday, October 2nd. Today we went to a walk hill to see the third Bethel office in New York. This w- was a such fun day because we, we saw the orchards that grow apples, grapes, and peaches. They also grow corn that we're able to eat, eat at lunch. We saw cows, their particular land and barns. They provide about 30% of the beef of the Bethel family eats. We have our own fire truck and volunteer firefighters. We sat in the fire truck. That was so cool. We saw the sawmill that they make, they cut down trees and then they they take from other building sites like Warwick. And they make hardwood boards for the carpenters to use for our buildings. We also saw the printing facilities where they print Bibles, books, and brochures for the United States and a few other near nearby countries seeing the big Press's work was awesome. They also put together and shipped the congregations their literature orders all over the country. It was so exciting to see all the building the building work going on and the literature being made. Jehovah's Witnesses have the world's biggest printing facilities and also a hundred thousand magazines are printed every hour. I would like to work here someday for sure. Everyone works very hard, but are very so happy. Friday, October 3rd. Today we did a lot of driving. It took us six hours to drive from Fishkill all through upstate New York and into Canada. The fall leaves were really beautiful. We We had to show our passports across the border. You saw Niagara Falls on the Canada side. The falls are so powerful, it seemed like it was raining on us, but it was just mist. Over 40 million gallons go over the falls per minute. That's enough water to fill a million bathtubs per each minute. We went down 125 feet down to to the tunnels behind the falls. The water was so loud, it was incredible. Niagara Falls connects to Lake Erie and to Lake Ontario. About 20% of the world's fresh water is in Niagara River. After, After we saw the falls, we drove to Toronto. Their city is right next to Lake Ontario. Saturday, October 4th. Today we tour Casa Loma, the only full-size castle in North America. It took only three years to build starting in 1911. The castle is almost 200,000 square feet and had an 800-foot underground tunnel to connect to the main house, to the stables, the garage, and potting shed. The owners had most modern bathrooms at the time. They had indoor toilets, bathtubs, and even a shower. Sir Henry Pellet and his wife only lived at the Casa Loma for less than 10 years. 
The economy totally changed when World War I started, and they went bankrupt. Friday, October 3rd. Sunday, October 5th. Today we walked it around the distillery in Toronto. We also saw an old railroad house with several trains in display. It was funny to see something old in the middle of a modern city, surrounded by high-rising buildings. I noticed this city in very different from New York. Toronto is not a very busy city. It was very clean. We took a ferry over to Centrent Island. They have a a man-made beach. Now I can say I've been on a boat on one of the Great Lakes. Monday, October 6th. Today we toured our, uh, our branch office in Georgetown. Only 600 Bethelites live here. But what that was amazing, about 25% of all of our magazines are printed here each month. They print 200 20,000 magazines per hour. They print magazines in 46 languages. Each roll of paper that weighs much as two Volkswagen Beetles. If you roll out the paper, it would go for 15 miles. Each roll can last for 23 minutes on the printing press. The paper is brought to very high temperature and cool down very cold to lock the ink on the paper that that way it doesn't rub off on your hands like a newspaper does all of this is done by volunteer workers who weren't paid when our tour was over we drove back across the US border and we flew home from Bethel to New York it was a wonderful time Thank you.